Hi Cancer, this is going to be a general love reading for July 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And it is going to be general, so that means it's not going to resonate for all of you. It's not going to be for everybody's situation. You can check out one of your other signs if you want, or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. And keep in mind that the roles can be reversed or interchangeable because this is a general reading. All right, so let's see what is going on with Cancer for the first half of July. Okay, for your situation, we have the Ace of Cups crossed by the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, wow, interesting. So there's there's a lot of love here, all right, um, between you and another person. Um, and either something shifted, it feels like maybe the way that things used to be, it just it isn't that way anymore, or there is a shift that needs to take place in order to really come together um, and really be able to experience this love. But I'm also getting that it feels like things have shifted something has changed here let's see the recent past we have the seven of pentacles and the near future we have justice okay so yeah i feel like there was a point in time here recently where somebody was putting in effort but either this effort wasn't enough or this effort was in vain just waiting for a particular result that never that never came to be um, I do see things finding some kind of a balance here in the near future. We'll see more when we clarify. For your energy, we have the Page of Pentacles. For them, we have the Nine of Swords. More about you. Let me just bring them down a little bit. Okay. More about you. We have the Ace of Wands. For them, the High Priestess and the potential outcome the sun. Okay, wow, that's a very positive, positive card to have as your final card here. Okay, so, Cancer. I feel like you you were putting in some effort here, okay, with the Page of Pentacles. There was something you were trying to achieve, um, possibly trying to bring something new into this connection in order to help things to work out. Um, it, almost as if because things changed, you're wanting to bring in a new energy. You're wanting to re-spark things, to reignite the connection. For them, there's a lot of stress here. There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of anxiety, a lot of possibly overthinking, maybe some fears. And I feel like this person is having a hard time possibly... Um, Trusting their intuition, I feel like their intuition is there, it's speaking to them, but I feel like they're blocking that out with their thoughts. Um, and because of that, it could be that this person is also not speaking very much. With the sun though being here, I do see a very positive outcome for you at least. Let's clarify. Because both of the future cards are very positive. We have justice as well as the sun. So something is coming into balance. I feel like if you feel like something was unfair, you're going to feel like almost, um, you're just going to end up feeling okay about it in the end here. So let's clarify the Ace of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. Right, temperance the fool okay that's that's quite a bit of major arcana here just starting off the reading and the three of wands so yeah it again it feels like you know maybe something unexpected has happened here almost like you know you didn't expect things to just change like this and maybe it feels like it came out of nowhere um, and it, it also gives me the sense of somebody either Kind of like things just stopped moving almost. 
with temperance here. It's like there was just this plateau that was reached, but it came unexpectedly. And it, it feels like somebody here, and I do, I do get the sense that it's you, was waiting for there to be a shift. And that's because you were putting in some effort. You, are, you have been trying to revive this. Something didn't work out the way the way that you expected here. Let's um, let's clarify the Page of Pentacles for your energy. We have Strength, the Two of Wands, and the Six of Swords. I feel like you're still kind of expecting that things might shift for the better, that things can actually um, move towards being more peaceful because something has shaken this, this connection up here. And I do feel like you, you're trying to be patient within this connection, which is requiring a lot of strength from you waiting to see if this is going to kind of like just resolve. Um, let's see the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands. I mean, the Ace of Wands showing up again. Okay, so you do still have um, I, some emotions for this person or just feeling a lot of passion for this person and again it's like you want things to start from the beginning you want something to be resolved in order to have a new start in a new way and i feel like again you've been putting effort into that or at least you're you're giving some energy towards that if you're not doing anything on a practical level then it's energetic this is how just your how you're feeling so let's see what's going on with them see the nine of swords Two of Pentacles and the King of Swords. All right, yeah, so this person is definitely um, having a hard time when it comes to just managing whatever is on the table here. They're feeling like this connection or something within the connection is overwhelming or is very difficult for them to manage, especially if it comes to if it comes to making a particular decision or being determined for something, it's almost like this person just lacks that determinism. And the reason why is because they're just so caught up in their headspace. I feel like this person is trying to think too logically about certain things. And sometimes that can be a good thing. And then other times it can just create a lot of overwhelming feelings because when you try to think of everything too logically, it sometimes just doesn't make sense. You just got to go with the flow and things can oftentimes just work themselves out. So I feel like this is what's going on with this person. Uh, let's see what else. Let's see the High Priestess. And it could be, yeah, that this person is really trying to make a decision which is creating a lot of um, imbalance in them. And causing them to overthink and to just feel like everything is just too chaotic, too crazy. Or that it's just too difficult to actually make a decision and stick to it. And it's interesting that I say that because um, just remember that justice is here in the near future, which can be about making a decision. So we'll see. So clarifying the High Priestess, we have the Ten of Wands and the Empress card. It's like this person deep down, they know, they know who it is that, that they want to be with. They know that, I feel like this is you here showing up as the Empress. They see you in this way, but there's something about the connection that, again, is causing them to feel overwhelmed. It's showing up again with this Ten of Wands. It's like they feel like there's a lot of pressure on them, possibly to make a decision which is creating distress. 
They're feeling a great sense of responsibility here for something. And even though, again, their intuition is speaking to them, it's being overpowered by the sense of responsibility or the sense of being overwhelmed. Let's see justice for the near future because it does feel like things are shifting here, which is might sound like I'm sugarcoating, but the, I mean it's justice in the sun showing up in the in the near future. So let's see. Five of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so there's a decision here. And I feel like it, it's also, whatever this is, it's going to be um, something coming up that is going to put you in a place of feeling like, okay, you know, justice is served. Like, it, it's going to be different for all of you. But there's definitely some action here, okay, with the Ace of Swords. And whatever this action is, it's not going to be something that is easy. I feel like whoever is making a decision, which I do see it more as being the other person, although it could be you, they, it, it feels like it, it, they're going to be up against other people who might be against whatever this decision is. All right, so there will be some conflict that seems to be coming up here when it comes to making a decision and for things to balance out. Um, and I do get that it's going to create a little bit of tension, possibly even between the two of you. So let's see the sun though, because the potential outcome here is looking very promising. Also, some of you might be dealing with, um, a Libra or a Leo, and <laughs> just as I say that, I get the sun card coming up again. So yeah, definitely let me know. I mean, wow, the sun clarified by the sun. Okay, Cancer. And I feel like that's the only card that wanted to come out because that's the only one that came out and it happens to be the exact same card. So I'm just going to take this as the message from spirit here, okay? What you are meant to hear right now is that no matter what it is that's going on right now, know that happiness is meant for you. You can find happiness regardless, all right, of what is going on in the situation. Things are moving in a very positive direction, at least for you, and that is what matters, okay? Yes, it could definitely be also with this person because this is a love reading, but because everybody's situation is different, I'm just going to focus on the message here for you, okay, for Cancer. And you have the sun here. So do expect that in the in your outcome overall and maybe possibly even towards the end of July, there's going to be sunshine in your life, all right? A lot of fulfillment, just feeling blessed, feeling happy. All right, Cancer, this was rather quick. Um, so if this resonated, please give me a thumbs up and let's get your final oracle message. we have the new moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You have the sun coming up. You have the sun coming up. Luck is on your side, all right? And you know what? We are in control. Yes, in a way, there can be luck. It really depends on your perception of it. But th this is definitely, definitely a very positive indication here. All right, Cancer, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.